Right. Hello. Oh, you're shining happiness. Right. Whoa. Whoa. Gustav, have a seat. Yeah. Anyway, my name is Martin. I'm a magician. Whoa. Yes. I know. Um, Twelve years ago, I went to Japan to do a tour. I was going to perform in nightclubs, bars, things like that. I landed in Tokyo. We went out with, with you know, all the people that, that are around me. We were drinking and everything was, you know, whoa, yeah. And the next morning, they woke me up at 8.30. And they said, you have your first show in 30 minutes. What? Now? And we got into a car and we were driving along and ended up in, in some weird place. I don't know where I was. And okay, I got my stuff. And, and they said, the audience is ready. So I got out on stage. And there's 180 elderly Japanese people with Alzheimer's. Whew. And this was totally new to me. Right? So, so I said, okay, wh why am I doing this? is not a nightclub. And they said, we want to try and see how magic works with people that have Alzheimer's and dementia. Now, we have a problem because a lot of my tricks back then was, can you, sir, please remember this card? <laughs> it's not going to work. So I said, okay, I need a, I need a couple of minutes, right? And, I, tw -tw 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 -tw. and what I discovered that day was really and truly amazing, because I had to do things that were very, very basic. For example, we can say like this. Uh, we usually say that magic, if we, have, if we have reality, right? Here we go. Here's reality. This is not magic. This is not magic, right? But we're still in reality. Da 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 reality, yes. Bum, bum, bum. Ba, ba, ba. Not so magical. But we add one more layer. We add drama. <laughs> it's still not magic. So we add one more layer. Some music and drama. Da 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 <coughs> okay, I'm not going to do that for a long time. <coughs> But there, there is still not magic. The magic happens when we all of a sudden fall down, boom, into reality. Yes. Now, <clears throat> this jump, that's when it happens. And what I discovered during all these times now, I've been traveling frequently to Japan, performing to people, for people with Alzheimer's and dementia, is that it doesn't matter how strong the Alzheimer's is or how you know, m many problems they have. Because the ground rules in magic, for an example, is that a hand that goes up, you will notice more than a hand going down. Right? A hand going forward, is stronger than a hand going backward. Now, if I want you to look at something, I need to look at it myself. But if I want you to look at me, I need to look at you. And these are normal things, right? But it turns out that this works perfectly for people with Alzheimer's. Did you see what happened? I'm not going to do it again. Okay. <laughs> So, um, <clears throat> I have decided I will um, actually, uh, we will start a university course, a three-year uh, three course with a master's degree in magic in Stockholm. And uh, one of the subjects there that we will do a lot of research in is misdirection laws and misdirection for people with Alzheimer's disease. We will see where this leads. I'll see you in three years, I think. So, we'll jump over to Gustav. Martin, 
it says in the title that it makes us smarter. Considering what we did last night, I don't think we're smarter. It's, um, it was a mess. We had to kick in a door in order to get where, well, it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> it's true. Um, can we somehow get the pictures that I have here up here? Yeah, this is Martin on his, I think it's the first trip to Japan. It's uh, and uh, an old Japanese gentleman there, very similar. But what I think some of what Martin was talking about was this is one of the shows in one of my nursing homes. And uh, what we can see here very easily is how concentrated and focused uh, these residents are. Um, usually, I think at least 80% of these residents have uh, one dementia disease, at least. Sometimes, you know, they can be two or three, but um, usually two, uh, not three. But uh, the, uh, the whole idea was that we were so surprised to see some of our residents uh, go through a 30-minute magic session. And... Uh, 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 also like this. And uh, it really worked, uh, especially what uh, Martin just said about uh, disorientation and orientation. And I mean, in dementia uh, training for uh, uh, nurses and, and care staff today, we, there is something called reality orientation. And that is to try to uh, uh, focus uh, on how a daily life begins with uh, a pattern and, and so on, and try to keep this together for the one afflicted by dementia. And it, it was just interesting to see that this actually works, works in a magic session. Uh, I will have to also introduce to you one more form of magic known to man since the cognitive revolution, I think they call it, 70,000 years ago when uh, man suddenly started making art and music. This is a Japanese TV program. It's called the Bunne Method. You use four different uh, musical instruments. And uh, all of our residents, of course, they, they see these instruments for the first time in their lives. Uh, it's uh, very basic in dementia care that you try absolutely not to focus on learning new things, but uh, keep uh, your, uh, uh, the knowledge and the abilities you have. But learning new things is usually stressful and never causes stress to uh, someone with Alzheimer's. It's very basic. However, this method, uh, similar to the ma magical tricks of my friend Martin, uh, it works. And the same thing we are uh, very, very uh, surprised by is that we can, again, 30, 40 minutes, we can do one of these sessions using four different kinds of very special musical instruments. And just uh, I'm running out of time, but uh, one more thing. Oh, that's me. Yay. No, this. We realize that Martin uses a lot of touch when he performs magic close up with our residents. And touch is, of course, it's, it's a no brainer. It's absolutely necessary in dementia care. This is actually one more care method that I brought from the countryside of Sweden. It's called tactile stimulation or tactile care. It's a special method in Sweden. Uh, I'm sure there are similar ones in America uh, under other names, but this uh, is one of more uh, method that we use that can have, we think, magical results. Uh, the, our residents that were diffi very difficult to uh, communicate with, uh, suddenly uh, a very good relation is created through this uh, uh, soft touch on a regular basis, uh, usually uh, between 10 and 20 minutes. Um, I uh, just really love seeing these. Uh, I wouldn't call them tricks because that would, I think, uh, 
It's, it's better than that. It's actually uh, methods and um, tools that we can use to reach those afflicted by this uh, very sad disease, but uh, we have seen fantastic results on how to recreate the reality for them. Thank you so much.